Welcome to the Garage Engineer, I'm Dennis, and today on our drill press we have a tool review of something I don't know if you've seen. What is it? It's a drill NATO. Let's check it out. So this is my Delta 17900. It's got a throw of three and a quarter inches and it's eight inch deep so you could do something as big as 16 inches in diameter. I love this thing, it can cut through anything, metal, wood, It'll, it doesn't complain, it just does it. It's got adjustable speeds, which I love, and I haven't been able to bog it down yet. But the one thing that's not good about it is the dust and the chips and the shreds that I get from whenever I'm, especially when I'm doing wood, it just goes everywhere. So to fix that, let's set up the Drillnado. So I was just at the Atlanta Woodworking Show, and I ran into a vendor, uh, Chris, he's a great guy, he's the owner of the Drillnado, and I was talking about the wood chip problem I had with when I was using the drill press, and this is, he said, was the perfect solution for that. This is the Drillnado XL, and he said this is the size that I needed to fit on my Delta. So the kit came with the adapter that attaches to the drill press, an accordion, the dust chute, an acrylic cover which can be removed and we got an additional accordion dust sheet. These are strips to adjust depending on your quill size and we can talk about more of that in a minute and the instructions. So let's clear the bench off and let's get started. So the first thing I do is let's get the adapter by itself. Then what we need to do is to measure the quill which is this part right here. For mine, it is 2.6 inches in diameter. You can just take a caliper, it's the easiest way to measure it. And it's 2.6. Some are 2.16, some are even smaller. That's what those strips were for, is to make adjustments. And also, the adapter itself, it has bushings. So right now, there's two bushings inside here. And this is to fit the diameter of a 2.16 quill. Since mine's 2.6 inch quill, we need to take out two of the bushings. With the bushings removed, I would suggest uh, loosening the two screws that is closest to the dust port. They don't, you don't have to take them completely out, just loosen them up so that you have some play. But I would recommend re removing the screws on the uh, other side. We'll call that the front. Um, that way you can ha have a little bit more room to open it up. Then all you need to do is slide it up onto your quill. Once the adapter's up there, then you just kind of squeeze it tight. And then you'll snug the screws up. Just enough so it holds it up there. Do the two front ones. And then that way you can get the back ones on easier. Then I like to finish up with just a hand screw screwdriver so you don't strip any of anything out. Just go along, hit all the screws, get it just just right. Now I did want to mention right while we're here, before you get it tight, make sure that your dust port is on the left side of the drill press because you don't want it on the right side because that's where your handles are at so you don't want it to hit so always make sure your dust port is on the uh, left side so now that we've got everything tight we can add the accessories to it the first accessory we add is the accordion dust sleeve you just slide it right up in here and that's easily to be taken on and off so that you can uh, change out your bits it does note in the instructions that if you have a keyless chuck you do need to get the regular drill nato not the xl uh, so you have access to your keyless chuck. And then you have your clear dust shield. If you've got a smaller bit, you can always leave the clear dust shield off so that you can uh, have a longer throw. Um, but most of the time you can you use it so you can kind of see what you're working on and have the maximum amount of suction. So that's how easy it is to set up the drill NATO onto your drill press. Now I wanted to quickly talk about uh, suction and to give a few tips on the back system. There's two ways you can go about it. One, you can have a in-workshop back system. Or what I like to use is a smaller vacuum hooked up. That way it's more mobile and I can move things around as needed, depending on the layout of your shop. So I tend to go with smaller vacs and have a few of them hooking directly up to the machine. 
The drill nader's dust port has an interior diameter of 2.25 inches. And the best way to hook up to that is using an adapter. Now before we go there, the hoses that tend to come with shop vacs like this are hard rubber and I really don't like them. So I tend not to use them. What I've done over the years is uh, a long time ago I bought the Rigid Pro hose pack. It was about $50 to $70 depending on where you buy it. It comes with a 10 foot hose and some adapters. The benefit, even though it comes with only a 10 foot hose, it does come with quite a few adapters that you can use and that's what I have here on this hose. Both adapters have a two and a quarter inch outside diameter so this fits perfectly in one into the hose and then two to the other side. So that seemed like a lot but it, throughout the years I've learned another alternative that's a little bit cheaper. This orange hose really is the same thing as an in-ground pool back hose and you can get this really cheap at your pool supply store or I'll even have a link down to my Amazon store in the description below if you want to find the one that I'm actually using. The good thing about this is you can get 30 feet for $40 plus it comes with two ends uh, that are both the same. Now if you're going to this, I have this set up to use on my CNC machine but if you're going to want to use this with your drill NATO you're going to need to cut off this tip right here because this is an inch and a half but this part right here is your two and a quarter and, for, and so for it to stick down deep enough into the drill NATO you're going to have to reach here you're going to have to get rid of this part here and then you can connect the other end up to your shop vac so to connect your vac system up to the drill NATO you take one end hook it up to your shop vac and then you can take the other end and just attach it right to the dust port of the drill NATO we got everything set up we got the shop vac connected to the drill NATO but before I want to do a few test cuts just to show what it looks like without the vac and then we'll add everything on and then show it with the vacuuming so as you can see without any dust collection it just makes a mess everything chips go everywhere and not very hygienic and all that dust in the lungs and everywhere so let's get everything set up let's put the accordion dust cover on and turn on the shop vac and we will get going So as we drill our hole in our test, I do want to show that we started getting a buildup. And this wasn't the fault of the drill NATO. It was more user error. Uh, the first dr hole that we drilled, we drilled at a slow pace. But the second one, I was drilling just a little bit too fast. And you can see the big chunks are clogging up the system. And it was just go being cut too fast for the vax to uh, suck up the pieces. It just shows you how powerful the delta is. But we'll fix this in the next round. So this is round two of testing out the drill NATO. And now my speed is a lot slower and the vac is having time to pick up all those big chips. So this is the first hole of the two that we cut. And then we're gonna move on to the second hole. And I think this is where I got a little too cocky before and got uh, was getting too, going too fast. So there you see what to do and what not to do. Uh, the second time we ran with the Forstner bit, I went a lot slower to give the time for the chips to suck up through the drill NATO. Whereas before I was going a little bit too fast and it clumped up. So it is doable. Just make sure you just watch your speed so that all the shavings doesn't get clumped up. So I'm glad I ran into Chris at the Atlanta Woodworking Show and he showed me the drill NATO and I think this is going to be a great addition to the workshop and definitely is going to keep it a lot cleaner. I mean it does work like it has said and all the suction was just off a small shop vac. If you like this product and want to learn more about it you can check in the video description below there's a link to our Amazon page. 
that definitely help us out at, in the channel and definitely help Dronado out to continue its great work. Now there's a few other items that I want to show but will be in future videos. They've got a dust separation system that I'm really excited to try out and also they've got another type of dust system to add to your bandsaw which I'm really excited. They do have it for the jigsaw but I don't have one of those to test out but uh, I think the bandsaw is going to be very similar. Check those out in the upcoming videos. And if you'd like to see more videos like the one that you just saw, you can check here and here. And remember the ABCs of making. Always be creating. Till next time.